going to do a short video here uh, on Foreverlands. Uh, we've done some updating on the map. Uh, of course, we uh, expanded the market for a reason. Um, soon, hopefully, as people join, we will have a bigger market and trading center. So I've expanded the market for a specific reason. Uh, I took down the wall put in a lot more trader tents so this is basically going to be the hub what we have here is portals I put in quite a bit of portals down here we have one portal to the PvP I mean PvE arena one portal to a PvP arena if anybody you know wants to PvP um, let's see we have Silent Woods Spring Valley, Crystal Beach, Lurker Woods, we have Black, Black Rock Mountain and Sky Mountain, we have Twin Peaks, uh, Smoky Rock, Critter Woods, and Dead Man Island. Whew, yep, a lot of portals went in. Ten new locations across the map, and I'll show the map. Uh, here in a brief uh, few minutes <clears throat> population on the server is starting to grow we've got some very steady people um, let's go in here and I'll show you what we've got quite a few deeds already popping in I'll go in here drop this down this is quite a few deeds we already have these are people that are playing in the well except for the starting area all these deeds here is everybody playing on the map. We got quite a few people. Everybody's steady and playing. We expect to grow even bigger. That's why I sat down and expanded the market. I will grow this market and expand it as it is needed. Um, one second. Okay, uh, I'm a very active uh, GM in here. I'm also the server owner. And the server, as you read, is a 10 plus year server. This thing's going to go on for your years and years and years. Uh, as long as people are playing, it's going to go on for years. Uh, reminder, we have the uh, starter inn where you can sleep there. Down the way, we have the public mine where the red lights are down there. It's no hoe house, it's it's just red lights. There's a public line where you can start building your cart and everything while you're here before you take off and go down the road. We got several major roads in. Uh, we got one going up east. Cuts and goes uh, north. We got one road that goes all the way west out to the west coast. We got some people now uh, moving in and uh, starting to build around the lake. We tried to if we don't see enough uh, fish in the water, we actually try to spawn some of these in. We have dolphins and whales. We try to keep them pretty well stocked in the, uh, the water up here. There's quite a few of them in here. <coughs> but yeah, uh, basically just um, want to update everybody that uh, we just actually put portals. I put portals in today in the last... Well, yesterday and today I've been busy putting all these portals in. Uh, so people can travel a lot faster. And I'll show you the map here in just one second. 
uh, server runs on a fictional, we treat the silver as a fictional coin, and this guy will stay stocked if he's ever unstocked. All you gotta do is let me know. Like I said, I'm very active. I have another GM now who will be uh, uh, helping keep things around. I have some other people lined up um, to help me uh, keep this server uh, peaceful. And other than that, yes, uh, you can ask anybody that actually plays on the server. I'm very active. Uh, I help people out. I try not to spoil the game for anybody. Uh, that's not my goal, but I do. You know, if I don't feel that it's a spoil, I might ask you if you need help here or there, and you can accept it or decline it. But I'm a very helpful person and a very active GM. Very friendly, so, you know, you, you shouldn't have a problem here unless you're just an outright person and just want to cause a bunch of ruckus, then uh, I'll give you the boot at that point. But other than that, I'd say, you know, if you want a server that's going to be here for a long time and you, ain't get, and you don't want to have to worry about, you know, the server closing because the population goes down. I mean, I play this game. This is where I play it. This is my server. So, you know, it's going it's going to be played by you know anybody that wants to play on it we work it as like a a free thing it's it's you know this is a non-profit server uh, i know there's a lot of servers that are profiting and people running in, running running them just to be profitable uh but here we're not going to do that here it's a non-profit server uh if you feel like you want to donate you can you're just going to have to get with me. I'm not putting donation links or anything like that up uh, because it's not it's not required and I'm not requiring anybody to do anything like that. But if you do feel like you want to or you appreciate the server for what it is, you can donate. You just have to get with me personally, the Big Nasty, and I'll talk to you about that on the side. But basically, we'd like to see more people here. Uh, this, like I said, this population is starting to grow. I didn't open this server up when it when I first launched it. Uh, I kept it closed for about two months or so there, and then uh, about two and a half weeks, two weeks, somewhere around there ago, I opened up the server for everybody. Um, but you know, if you're want to come by and try out the server, uh, it is a warm online base skill base. We're not there are no mods. These portals are not modded in whatsoever. Uh, this will be a vanilla server, no mods whatsoever. Um, I got all kinds of things to do. We just had a, our first event on the server today, and it was a treasure hunt. And one of the guys actually got a uh, set of red dragon skill armor out of the hunt. And there was armor of different types of armor and uh, a weapon here or there and coin. I have another thing that I do, but I don't want to give out all information on my server to just anybody. And if you want to see what we do on the server and try it out, just uh, come by and make a tune, play for a couple days, see how you like uh, the server. Uh, we have our own game box. Uh, voice uh, VOIP so if you uh, like to talk live you can uh, you can chat in the windows but if you want to talk live we're there I'm always uh, on it when I'm online or awake sometimes when I'm not uh, online and I'm studying um, you'll you'll find that I am uh, connected to the game box uh, server uh, Soon I'll be uh, redoing the website and uh, changing it to our service provider of uh, the servers. Um, and the website's going to change the uh, look and everything at that point. Uh, because I will no longer be sitting on a, a free site that uh, limits what I can actually do and put on the site. But, yep. 
come on out here. We got the altar of three. You don't got to go far to become a priest from the starting area. These portals go to and from, and I'll show you what I'm talking about just real quick. Every portal has one guard tower. Uh, a lot of these new places that opened up, no one's building on them. Uh, we only have one place that's being built on right now. You can port to any one of these just as quick as you can see. Just go through these real quick. There's no glitches. We'll pop on that one there. Come out here. Jump on this one here. Here, let's go to this one here. Silent Woods. As you can see, we have a guard tower at each one of these. So you're, you have some protection until you all start building up and building roads and stuff. Uh, connecting to this, these portals. These portals are going to act as a fast travel system, and uh, I'm going to shut the video off because Fraps won't uh, switch over to the other screen, and I'm going to show you a map and let you see the rest of uh, what we, uh, you know, where all these uh, stones are actually going because they all port to some place. Uh, for example, the PvP arena, which is over at Madid. This here is the PvP arena. As you can see, Gladiator's Entrance. I ain't finished with the arena yet. I got rooms and stuff I'm going to stage, but when you walk in, you can PvP only in this area. That's it. Rest of the servers PvE, sorry. <laughs> uh, go back over there, and we're going to go to the PvE arena, which is also at my deed. It's just faster for me to get there than to. Uh, come from over there and say hello to our goddess Venora. To get to the PvE arena, you come across the up the ramp and across the marble bridge. Here we'll hold unique events and um, mob events uh, as you can see as we go in. I have a lot of this stuff set up but you'll be able to um, will hold uh, dragon raids and uh, all kinds of unique events in, the, in this right here. Other than that, uh, yep, we'll I'm gonna go ahead and stop the video right here and we will continue on the map. Okay, here we go. This here is the poor Everlands map. As you can see, this here is the starting area. Every one of these little names on the map is a portal and goes to several different places and each portal ports right back to the starting area. This will allow when people move around this these areas they won't have to travel long ways to get to the starting area to their merchants. They'll be able to um, basically run to the nearest uh, portal stone, port over, put their stuff on their merchant, port back and take off and go back home. If you're going to bring a lot more goods than what you can carry, then yes, you'll have to come through the road systems. Uh, as you can see here on the map, we have from the starting area, there's a road that goes completely south, straight run, pretty much except for this curve. Let's see, we got a road that goes um, east, then goes north around the river. There is a bridge going across here to here. Uh, it then goes up, hits this lake, cuts down to the uh, uh, east, and goes all the way to the east shore of the ocean. And it passes by Critter Woods up this way. Um, we have a lot of lakes. All these lakes are, are deep lakes. They're not shallow lakes. They're very deep lakes. Let's see. We got a road that goes from here all the way out west. There's a bunch of bridges in here uh, to avoid a bunch of... Um, tall high mountain pits that people wouldn't be able to pass under so basically there was a as you can see here all these skips and where you see nothing but grass there are bridges in these sections there's quite a few bridges coming over and down this mountain and we got a couple here so we didn't have to have dirt walls just going this long we just basically stop right here shoot bridges people can build up underneath here eventually build ramps up and come on the side like an interstate or whatever and be able to have pathways going up underneath the bridges. It'll look really cool. 
but we got we got a couple of bridges. Um, as you can see, it goes up, comes all the way out west, goes by some deeds already being set out here. We got a deed here. PMAC lives up here. Ashley lives over here. Comes around, goes up to my area. This here is my deed. <coughs> well, actually, this right here is my deed. This here is a racetrack. I didn't show that uh, in game, but this here is a racetrack where we'll have uh, horse track racing and all. Uh, we got Grilgore who lives over here in this corner. Go over here. This is my brother. Goes up road. Eventually, we'll go up this way. You come out this way. We got a guy that lives out in this lake around in here. His name's Harzum. You come up this way. We got a guy up here in this uh, little island. His name is Jeff. Dun, 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 dun. And let's see. We come down this way. We have um, Ladaya. Uh, myth and we have um, mm, 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 can't remember name offhand uh, but there's three people living down here and there's two deeds down there and three people living there um, around the starter area we have the deed right here and I believe this is sinful Ru sinful Russ and we have da, da, da. somewhere around here we have another deed uh, being formed if we go up this way as you can see um, right here this is another deed being put in uh, offhand I can't remember their name they're, they just recently started uh, a little bit ago on the server, a couple of days ago. We come up through here. This here is this here is the public mind. We come up here. This is another deed, and offhand I can't remember who that is. And we got uh, Lee Oric, I think is his name. He's actually starting up here at Crystal Beach. Um, this here is the pad of Crystal Beach, and he is building around Crystal Beach. But we have several people now in here. Uh, so, yeah, if uh, it's a good time, there's plenty of land all over this place. I mean, no one lives out in here, you know, all the way through here. In this area, it's a lot of open land. I'm back. A lot of open land up through here. All in this mountain. All over this mountain. And there's portals to get up here to these mountains. Uh, give me one second. Okay, no interference there. But there are portals to get up to these mountains. Uh, so, you know until y'all build roads and people build roads to come down the mountains it's easy to portal up and portal uh, to the starting area and you can basically use this to jump if your friends live in Smoky Rock and you live over here in Sky Mountain or if you live out in Spring Valley all you have to do is go to Spring Valley port to uh, starting area then port over to Smoky Rock you saw how fast that you can port and you'll be over here and then you can take off on the mountain and go to their property and it won't take hours and hours and hours of uh, going across the map. Eventually, I might put in a couple of more uh, spots because the map is 4096 by 4096. It's very huge. And I might end up putting a couple of more uh, portals in. Uh, I might put one up here on this mountain, for example, because uh, it would be pretty hard to get up on this mountain. Uh, I'm probably going to end up putting a portal up here. I'll probably put a portal out here and probably one way up here on this end let's see uh, more than likely put a portal on top of this mountain and maybe one down in here and probably one out over here near the beach and all or probably around in this area because we got one here but that's on the mountain you know that's there ain't no roads coming down that mountain it'd be hard to come down so basically it's just building on top of the mountain and all there's a lot of flat areas and slopes and everything there but I might put one down here around these lakes here. Uh, I know I'll probably put one down in here. 
and one up here around on this this mountain and probably one up on top of this mountain as well and maybe one yeah that mountain I've done said that mountain but basically you get the picture you know as people start to move in these areas that open up the portal system is basically so people can get around not waste their day um, as you can see the map is built on lakes rather than um, big ocean streams you know big bodies of water like Independence was in a lot of maps I see there's like this big giant ocean of water here and and you're cutting out all this land that people can play on and build on and there's beautiful scenery inland and basically the object of this map was to bring in more land still have bodies of water so people on the inside can still get their clay and stuff on these uh, lakes and all as you can see um, that was the whole idea and since boats are slow and this is a vanilla server and there's not going to be modding and speeding up boats and all we need another way of faster travel so the portal system was the next best thing is just to go ahead and use the portal system um, some other things that we have um, there are standard NPCs that I spawn out into the world these NPCs will have stats on they'll have fighting stats um, be cautious if you cha challenge one they will attack you and they do follow you for quite a while uh, up to 50 60 tiles or so before they start to want to give up and stop following you they're not like a standard mob they're just regular generated human uh, NPCs uh, they blab a lot in chat in the in the local chats and uh, sometimes it's pretty funny uh, it, it can be I swear if you try to read it all the time but they're, they're quite funny but they'll be geared they'll have weapons they'll have some coin and some other things on them and if you do happen to kill one you will be able to uh, loot your stuff and everything okay um, but, but basically that's that's the idea is to have these NPCs roam around and just in general locations you'll see them and they do roam out and if you do challenge one uh, you know the spoils of war is yours you know if you do challenge one and you do win you can loot their corpse and everything on them and uh, I will be putting coin and stuff on these mobs so it you know that's one way I'm pushing coin into the uh, the game uh, because you know there's going to be no selling of silver or anything like that it's it's a non-profit server but yeah come join us and have fun